Your Excellency, let me just uh, ask my colleague, uh, another pastor, this is the Minister for uh, Roads and Transport. Uh, Senator Murkomen uh, is here, and there are a number of other colleagues. Your Excellency, help me. I, I was supposed to give my exit speech, and I love giving exit speech, uh, me and Murkomen, but today is not the day I give my exit speech as a former, as I leave uh, the patron of the PPG which I was the last five years. Uh, let me uh, recognize uh, our former speaker, Speaker Ekwe Thuro Emeritus. Uh, he's here. We have our former minister, Mohamed Elmi. We have one of the big uh, founders of uh, this organization, Dr. Wako, former Isiolo North Member of Parliament. We have uh, great other leaders from the pastoralist as outside our members of parliament. We have senior members, Your Excellency. This uh, 13th parliament, we have some senior pastoral leaders who have come back. The Honorable Former Minister for Interior, the Honorable Julius Nkuli is in the house. Our former deputy speaker in the 90s, uh, we are the founders of this organization. And of course, the development partners who have stood and supported uh, the PPG. You're all welcome. Your Excellency, we are the, because I'm still uh, the patron until they elect uh, somebody tomorrow. So, Kamket, I'm sure he's positioning himself. I don't know whether he has lobbied. Uh, Your Excellency, this is the largest caucus in the Kenyan parliament. But, their numbers don't count. And they will, they will, uh, they will, uh, they will listen to me because uh, uh, there are new members. I want them to hear. We have the numbers. We have the largest caucus. But when shares are declared on the floor of the house, our shares cannot even fetch us anything at the Nairobi Stock Exchange. And I'll give you examples. Your Excellency, we had the animal called BBI. Those who were with me in the last parliament. The whole animal called BBI was anti-pastoralist. It was reducing our resource allocation. Am I right, colleagues? Mandera was losing, Marsabat was losing, Wajia was losing, Garissa was losing, Tanarifa and Isiolo, which were had barely has little money, 4.8 billion, was losing. We were losing in that BBI in terms of even constituencies. I mean, 70 constituencies were being shared, and I think what was being given to the big percentage of the pastoral areas was less than 0.1%. But what did we do? We just said, Mr. Speaker, sir, I vote yes. That's what we said, apart from very few of us. The issue of the resource sharing at the Senate came. And Senator Murkomen is sitting here. The greatest defenders of the pastoralist, because that resource for, uh, sharing formula was basically again reducing the equitable share of the pastoralist counties. The biggest defenders who came to support pastoralists were not the pastoralists themselves. There were people who in their counties they were getting more resources. Wasingishu was getting more. Nandi was getting more. West Pokot was getting more. Nairobi was getting more. But the people who were in the forefront to say again, say, Mr. Speaker, I say yes for you to, for, for this report to reduce our equitable share, we are the pastoralist. And I'm talking as a former leader of majority. There are many things that happened. And you can use me and a few others, like uh, Colonel Russell, as a classic, classical example. We said no, and nothing happened to us. Today we are alive. You know, people were intimidated. People were, did everything. But we said no. Senator of Samburu was arrested 
He was put on a Land Rover from here all the way to Samburu, to Marlan, a range in court. He came back. He still said no. And today he's a senator for Samburu. What am I saying? When the chips are down and you are on that premium floor of the house, good people, my people, <laughs> good Kenyans, as you support government agenda, as you support the national agenda of the people of Kenya, you must say this particular agenda is not in tandem with the people I represent. I'll give you a good example. The, our colleagues from Rift Valley, from Mount Kenya, they introduced something which was called um, uh, something minimum returns. What was it, uh, Murkomen? Guaranteed minimum returns. That at whatever price the farmer, whether he's a dairy farmer, tea farmer, coffee farmer, maize farmer, sugarcane farmer, there must be a guaranteed minimum return. We were in that house, we never asked for a guaranteed minimum return on our milk, camel milk, and on our meat. We just, listen, when people were... So, in my opinion, because I'm still a leader, in my opinion, we must, I think, after, after tomorrow, we must have a conversation. A very candid conversation. Why is our area the most insecure part of Kenya? That conversation, we have a role to play. Why is Lefe insecure? Why is North Hill insecure? Why is Turkana South insecure? Why is our sister Lesuda elected twice crying every day on TV? As we wait for government, we are leaders, we must be part and parcel of the conversation to bring peace, stability, and security to that. Your Excellency, I want to thank you. When even donors came out to build the road from Garbatula all the way to Mbadogash, to Habaswain, to Samatar, to Bandera, and you did a lot of consultation meetings, part of the frustration the state was doing to you, you were even to, ministers and PSS were told, don't go to the office of the deputy president. They were sending clerks. This is a stage where they even stopped sending clerks. We are very much sure under your leadership, Your Excellency, and with more command as a minister for roads, at least the road from Garbatula all the way to Mandera will be complete. Your Excellency, as these leaders sit here, three quarter of, in fact, 70% of the schools in these areas are closed. They have no teachers. In fact, like in Northeastern, I think the students that were only in Garissa, Wajia, Mandera, Isiolo, and Marsabe town. You go to the rural constituencies, schools have been closed five years ago. That conversation, we must decide. We must sit down. And I really want, after the end of this two-day session, you bring a blueprint document, you know, of the three, five key issues that you want the president to address. Your Excellency, because this is your third meeting this morning, I don't want to take a lot of time. Just finally to say, you know, we are pastoralists. And when we don't, we are static, so we don't stay in a place. Our, 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 our home states are, uh, they are not permanent because of our nature of movement. So before you move, you always send somebody to go and find a good place for the animals and for the community. A place free of insecurity, a place with water, a place with, uh, with no diseases. So some of my colleagues, they went one direction with the intention to make sure the community gets water, pasture, secure place. Some of us, we also went with you 
to make sure the community gets the necessary facilities like water pasture. So our colleagues went to a place which was very inhabitable. A place where there was <laughs> place where there was insecurity, place where there was no grass, the place where there was no water. But uh, those of us who went with you and you as a pastor is number one, Your Excellency, we found a very good place. And these leaders are here because us now election is over, we want development. And please, IBC is very critical. IBC is very critical in these five years because the delimitation of the boundaries will be done. And you cannot have those uh, Chalera 4, if you ask me. You need to remove Chalera 4 and have a very clean commission. You have the vote to do that on Thursday. And if you want me to come, I'll come to Parliament because I'm a former leader of Emeritus to give you direction. We must have one of our own in that commission that will help the president and all of us make sure that that commission does. We can't have a section of a commission that works at the whims of individuals. We want a commission that will work as per the constitution. So this, this five years is very important. It's going to be the limitation of boundaries, words, constitutes. You, we must preserve. You, you people, you know how even our, our, our censors were suppressed. You know that. You have something, we have a constituency where we are told it is 30,000. If you, if, you, if you add all the children who go to school in that constituency, there are 45,000. And we are told that constituency has a population of 30,000. But I think we have become victims because we, since we were near to Jipangi. So these five years, the good people, and I think this time, we have got good leaders who will stand with the people. Your Excellency, uh, finally, I want you to forgive us on behalf of the leadership. You know your signature and your footprint is found in the pastoralist. And I'll tell you, the first people of pastoralist to be nominated, talk about Sophia Abdi, talk about Sahara Korere, talk about Abdinuru, talk about even today, talk about Fatuma Dulo. All the pastoralists who have been nominated the numbers are high. It's because of the leadership. He has never nominated anybody from a single or his relative. And the people were saying they're going to start a demonstration. They brought you the names of their sons and daughters to parliament. You voted for the son of Kalonzo Musiaka. We voted for the son of uh, the daughter of uh, Raila Odinga. And now he has the guys to tell us that he will ask our ch the children of the pastoralist to demonstrate in, uh, in Abaswain, Mashima Ado. He was not consulted when he was bringing his, do his daughter. So I think it's about interest. So your Excellency, for, I want you to forgive us. You are, you are a pastoralist. Kidogo hatuku, wali, hatuku patia kura mingi. Lakini wanasema, ati hata kama hatuku mpatia kura mingi, uyu ni wetu. So we are entitled to the benefits. So your Excellency, I want to stand here today. Forgive us. Hatuku wana ubaya. So watch a name with a chairman. So nobody to to mumbi a king was wetu. Next time I think to ta to ta to ta balisha mendo. Mashimua Bashir. Tafadali.